Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Michael Vick, live on VicTube. Um, yeah, so if you're new, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. Um, I make I make um, football videos about both college football and the NFL. Although sometimes I will make videos on about other things, just my opinions and such on different topics. Um, so yeah, so today um, we're, we're gonna talk about um, a three for one. Yep, that's right, this video is a, uh, a, a three for one. Yep, you get uh, three to three topics in one video. Uh, yep, oh yeah, and um, Please give the video a thumbs up if you like the video. And I do live streams every Friday evening at 7 p.m. Eastern. So anyway, so, oh, arrest warrant uh, is out for D-Rob, yep, um, Demetrius Robertson. Uh, yeah, apparently he, um, he um, stole a parking boot, right? Well, first he, um, yeah, Yes, he um, removed um, a parking boot. Uh, yeah, which I didn't even know you could take a uh, a, a parking boot off uh, on your own. They like, had to like, like special tools or whatever. But anyway, D. Rob uh, was able to um, remove his parking boot. Uh, yeah, and then he took it with him. Uh, yep, as he did this to. Um, um, because he didn't, because he didn't want to pay a ticket. Uh, uh, why did he take the boot with him? Uh, uh, what's the point of that? Or I guess it was to uh, try and uh, get rid of the uh, uh, the evidence, right? He didn't, he didn't want to want to pay the ticket, right? Didn't want to pay the fine. Um, so yes, yeah, so now he is he is wanted for for um, for stealing uh, the parking boot for the theft of the parking boot and he is also wanted for removing uh the parking boot and avoiding uh paying the uh uh the uh um, yeah um yeah did y'all hear that uh yeah that was loud had some i guess it's, it's, it's um storming out there um but um yeah and he's also wanted for um for uh, I guess fleeing from paying paying his fine, uh, um, yeah, which was um, a felony, and then stealing the boot, which was a misdemeanor. Um, yeah, so I don't know what's gonna happen to him. Hopefully, you know, hopefully he he can get you know you know you know that um, felony charge uh, reduced to a misdemeanor. Hopefully. Um, so yes, yeah, so D-Rob, uh, what are you doing? Just pay, just pay the dang fine. Uh, I mean, yeah, um, this is uh, not not a good look. Uh, yeah, I know that that D-Rob is, you know, well, he's a sixth year senior, so he's taking advantage of this COVID year. Yeah extra year of eligibility so this is it time to put up or shut up yes his um my mom last chance at making it uh to the nfl because really he's been a bust uh ever since he got to uga of course we had all this drama i think this is back in 2016 uh where he had all this drama where he didn't sign during national signing day and then um, he made his uh, his announcement of where he was going to go at the College Football Hall of Fame. He made a whole big deal of it, and he was supposed to have this so this picture. So they you know, like removed the cover, and, his, and there was a picture of Cal, but it was upside down, right? So he ended up going to Cal. Right, he had um, eight hundred yards receiving uh, um, as a freshman at Cal. Um, yeah, and then the uh, um, second year at Cal, he was um, injured uh, for a lot of that season. 
And then, of course, 2018, he transfers to Georgia. And since then, uh, he has been a bust, right? He just hasn't panned out for uh, whatever reasons. D. Rob is supposed to be, you know, trying his best, you know, to, to improve his game, you know, stay out of trouble, you know. Um, but yeah, and then here we go. Yeah, this happens uh, every off season. We got some Georgia player getting arrested, uh, yeah, getting in, or getting in trouble. Yeah, for yeah for something stupid. But I mean, we've all made mistakes, so I'm not really mad at mad at D. Rob, but S. M. H. And then oh yeah, there was also some yeah yeah a, a woman um yeah yeah yeah, yeah um who um put um gorilla glue in her hair i mean why would you do that lady i mean i mean that that's crazy i mean yeah i don't really know what she was trying to do i mean i mean i mean i don't really you know know that much about women's hair or you know women's um hairstyles i don't know what the what uh why what she was trying to to use it for but i mean why would you put gorilla glue in your hair and then she couldn't uh get it out um and then she ended up going to the um, emergency room i don't know what she had to do i guess she probably had to uh cut her hair i guess she had to cut it out or shave it out or shave it out so um, yeah, so I don't think that that's, um, Gorilla Glue is something that you would find at the, uh, at the, uh, the beauty shop. It's definitely not something you would find at, at, on the hair care aisle. Uh, yep, that's something that you get, uh, from the hardware store. What did you think, what did you think was going to happen? I mean, this is for, you know, gluing things together. It's supposed to stick, uh, forever. So... Uh, yeah, that's, uh, so yeah, that, that's what you get. Yeah, so anyway, and then now she's, she's suing, uh, the, uh, uh, the manufacturer of Gorilla Glue because on the warning label it says not to use on skin, but it doesn't say anything, uh, about hair, so she's, she, she's suing. Uh, yep, so there we go, so this lady, uh, has, um, gotten her, um, her two, her, her two weeks of fame. Um, so, um, yeah, and then, and then some people have, yeah, can you believe that some people have actually donated, uh, to her GoFundMe? I mean, I, I, I mean, I, I mean, yeah, we're, we're giving someone, uh, my mom, yeah, people have donated, Sixteen thousand uh, dollars to this lady for uh, for being a, a dumbass. So, I mean, trying to help her out. I mean, yep, I'm trying to get mm, that, yep that money uh, and attention. So, uh, yeah. So anyway, oh yeah, and then um, my mom Gus Malzahn um, is now uh, the new head coach of. UCF at the University of Central Florida. Uh, yep, after um, Josh Heupel um, left to be the head coach of Tennessee, after Jeremy Pruitt was fired. Uh, yep, and then of course um, Gus was um, fired from Auburn uh, at the um, end of the season. Um, yeah, yeah, I think it was right, right after the end of the, uh, uh um, regular season, uh, right, so I can't remember if he, um, my mom coached, uh, the bowl game or not, uh, yeah, I'm not, yeah, yeah, I can't remember, not sure about that, uh, I, I know that he was, um, allowed to, uh, coach the bowl game, I can't remember if he, if he, uh, did or not, but probably not. Most coaches just, you know, 
just leave after they've been fired and don't stick around for the bowl game. But um, anyway, of course, Auburn lost the bowl game to Northwestern. Uh, yep, so I don't know that. Um, yeah, 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 I don't think that uh, Auburn uh, should have fired him, but they did. And of course, they replaced him with Boise State head coach Brian Harson. Uh, yeah, I mean, I thought that, you know, Gus was uh, was a good coach. I mean, I didn't think that they, you know, should have fired him. I mean, I mean, he, I mean, he has three wins uh, against Alabama, so that's pretty good. I mean, up till now, uh, he, he was the only uh, um, SEC head coach who had beat Alabama, so... See, so you see, got to um, give him, uh, give him credit there. Uh, but anyway, so now he has, um, so now he's at Central Florida um, now. Uh, he is trying to um, um, get back on his feet uh, in the uh, the Group of Five yep, in the uh, AAC. Um, so yeah, so I think so I think he'll do he'll 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 do he'll do well uh, there. You, you know he's an um, offensive coach. You know, um, yeah, UCF's offense has been has has been really good uh, to elite uh, the last few years. So there's plenty of talented um, offensive players uh, left on that roster for. Um, Gus to um, um, to work with, yes. Yeah, so I think he'll uh, have have some um, success uh, there. Um, um, yeah, and have uh, the uh, uh, um, the Knights uh, competing for American Conference championships uh, once again. So. Um, so, um, yeah, so that's it. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all again next time.